hope you all are in good health. Let's continue. We start about Sat 1. Here we are taking some exercises about radicals and exponents. And question number 9 says if x squared equals y to the power of 3. So what the value of z does x to the power of 3z equals y to the power of 9. Here at that time you can find that x squared equals y power 3. That y also can be power 3. But 3 to the power of 3. So instead of y to the power of 3, I can put x squared to the power of 3. So it means x to the power of 2 times 3. As we said in the beginning of the previous lesson, the power of the power is multiplied. You can find the product of them. So if that y is to the power of 3, so it will be 3 to the power of 3. The y to the power of 3 y cube instead of it, we are going to substitute it by x power 2, all to the power of 3, so x to the power of 6. So x to the power of 3z equals x to the power of 6. So 3z equals 6, 6 divided 3 equals 2, so z equals 2. At number 10, 2 to the power of x plus 3 minus 2 to the power of x equals k to the power of 2x. What the value of k? That k. If we are going to take 2 to the power of x as a common factor here between the first and the second. So the first one is going to be 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 plus minus 1. 2 to the power of 3 equals 8 minus 1 equals 7. So it's 7 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. So that k equals to 7. If we say the square root of the square root of x equals x to the power of a. So what the value of a here? That means the x to the power of half multiplied by x to the power of half power half so it's power quarter and that x is power half so that is x power half time x power quarter half plus quarter is three quarters and we say from the last and the previous lesson the end of it was a question about that and when we say that we said that the number down should to be outside the number down should to be outside that once so it's the b's value of x to the power of 2a as it's number b so at that time it can be here x to the power of three quarters equals x to the power of a so x a here its value is three quarters as a suitable answer will be number b. Here 2 square root of x plus 2 equals 3 root 2. x here is greater than 0. In the equation above, what is the value of x? To find the value of x here at that time, at the beginning of all, let's get rid of that 2 at the left hand side and make that number divided by 2. Make it that 2 root 2 times root 2 and cancel one of the root 2's with one of the root 2's so it's 3 over root 2 and now start to make the both sides here to the power of 2 squared so that is going to be x plus 2 and the other right hand side will be 9 over 2 9 over 2 means 4.5 Four and a half minus two equals two and a half. So x equals two and a half. Going to the right hand side, x to the power of AC times x to the power of BC 
equals x to the power of 30. Here, if we are multiplying two numbers, we should to add the powers. So it's AC plus BC. Here at that time, they need A plus B. If you take the C common factor, they say A plus B equals 5. Then it will be what time 5 equals 30? If the base equals the base, so the power equals the power. That means C and then open up brackets. Inside the brackets, A plus B multiplied by A plus B. It means multiplied by 5, so that is 6. So what the value of C? It is 6. And now a calculator is allowed in the following. If n to the power of 3 equals x and n to the power of 4 equals 20x. So what the value of x here at that time? That is n to the power of 3. And instead of that once, n to the power of 4 can be made as n to the power of 3 as it means here x multiplied by n to the power of 3 multiplied by n so n to the power of 3 instead of it put x so you can get rid of that x you can find the n now or you can put the n to the power of 3 by x here that is x times n equals 20x dividing both sides by x you get rid of the x so n equals here 20 so 20 to the power of 3 equals x so what the value of x so it's 20 to the power of 3 it means 20 times 20 times 20 it means 8000 because it's 2 times 10 you know 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 and 10 times 10 times 10, 10 equals 1000. If x to the power of 8 multiplied by y to the power of 7 equals 333. And x to the power of 7 multiplied by y to the power of 6 equals 3. So what are the value of x, y? If you are going to divide that number divided by x to the power of 7, y to the power of 6. So the result is going to be x y that what they are asking for so at the right hand side divide 333 divided by 3 is going to be 111 and see you soon in the second lesson let's prepare per set i hope you all are in good health take care of yourselves wish to see you soon bye everyone